back to Loopy Mabel Vintage Style Crochet. My name is Jane and in today's tutorial I wanted to show you how to add pom-pom trim to a piece of your clothing. I've added it to the sleeve of my blouse and this just transforms the look of the sleeve. Here's the before sleeve, so just a plain edge sleeve and there is the after. Now rather than throwing out all clothes that you think have seen its day and looks a bit boring or you're sick of seeing it, why not liven it up and transform it with some simple pom-pom crochet trim. So if you fancy doing that, get out your old clothes and I will show you how to do it in this tutorial. <music> using today in today's video to do the pom-pom trim on the edge of my blouse I'm going to use Rico Essentials Merino Double Knit in this lovely shade of grey grey blue um, a 3.5 millimetre hook obviously some scissors and I'm also going to be using piecing edge it tool so here's a close-up of pom-pom trim that we're going to be doing in today's tutorial. I absolutely love this trim. So in this tutorial I'm using a 3.5 millimeter hook and I'm also using this amazing edget tool. It comes with a 1.75 millimeter crochet hook and also the piercing hook which if you can see has a very sharp point on it which is what I'm going to use in this tutorial which will actually pierce the fabric of the sleeve of the blouse. I shall put the link for this tool in the box below if you're interested in, in getting it too. So here's the other sleeve I'm going to start in the seam area so because this gingham top has got the squares, I'm going to use the squares to line up my tool with. So all I'm going to do first of all, I'm just going to pierce with the tool almost to the edge right the way through, like so. And just pull the yarn through, like so. And I shall work that end in. And I'm just going to work a chain one. Now I will be working in UK terminology throughout this video so if you're watching in the US you need to be aware of that. Now as I say I'm going to be using the lines on the gingham but I didn't want to work big gaps for every line so I'm going to work in the middle as well. Okay, So I'm going to go down into the middle of the next piece of fabric pull it through, trying to keep my tension quite slack because I don't want to pull the fabric, yarn over and double crochet and then going to go down in to the next line there, pierce the fabric, pull it through, yarn over and double crochet. So down into the middle of that square, so a piece of the fabric, pull the yarn through and yarn over and pull through. Trying to keep my tension not too tight. Then I'm going to use the next line as my next marker. Pull through, yarn over and pull through. And this tool is absolutely brilliant for projects like this. So I'll work another one. Yarn over and pull through 
and one more into the next line. And pull through. So I'll do one more into there. Yarn over, pull through, and another one, and another one. Yarn over, pull through. So it just shows you how easy this this hook is with that piercing point on the end. You're able to go through two layers of fabric. You don't need uh, any other tool to punch holes, so it's straightforward and it works brilliant with pre-hemmed fabric as well. And it's made in such a way that it goes through the fabric so smooth, no snagging, pull through, yarn over and pull through and it's just so quick and easy. So I'm going to crochet double crochet all the way around to this end and I shall see you when I get back here. So I've just come to the end here and I'm just going to slip stitch into that first double crochet of the round with my piercing tool and just going to now take that out because I don't need that anymore and I'm going to use a 3.5 millimeter hook and I'll just show you that first round there so really all we've done is double crochet all the way along the edge and it just gives me a nice little anchor stitch to do my next row really simple and as you can see the piercing tool doesn't damage obviously makes a hole but it doesn't damage the fabric doesn't pucker the fabric or anything like that and it's gone through two layers on this hem on this blouse no problem at all but I don't need that anymore now so I'm now moving on to my 3.5 millimeter hook and I'm just going to chain one Just going to double crochet around going through the tops of those stitches. So just insert your hook. It might be a little bit tight because obviously the piercing tool was smaller. That's why it's best to keep your tension fairly slack. I can just about get my hook through okay. And I'm doing the two rows just to give it that a little bit more depth to just show you here in the other sleeve just gives it that lovely extra depth there so I'm going to go all the way around with another row of double crochet so I shall work all the way around and I shall see you when I'm somewhere around about here so I'm just about near the end of this row so I've just got a few more double crochets to go so I'm just going to finish it off with a slip stitch and that's the second row done so if you just take a quick look here the two rows I like to work from the back when I do the pom-pom trim purely because when you do the pom-pom trim if you're not aware of it there's the front side and there's a slight little opening on the back of the pom-pom trim so if you're working say this is the front of your work and you're working along you would have that little opening showing on the front so I like to work with the back of the work so when you look when you turn it round the front of the pom-pom is showing so I'll show you here so obviously my blouse, the front of my blouse is facing me to the right side so I need to be working from the back. So I'm literally just going to turn my work. So we've got the back of the sleeve facing and I'm going to start on my pom-pom. So if you're not familiar with the pom-pom trim and you'd like to see a full video on how to do it, please check out my other videos where there is a full tutorial on the pom-pom trim. 
but we'll just go through it here so I'm going to chain three so that's going to be the beginning of my chain and then we're going to add the pom-pom here so we're going to chain three more one two three and we're going to yarn over and treble into the third chain from the hook so one two three those three chains will act as our first treble so one two three insert our hook into that third chain there yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops on your hook and we're going to go yarn over we're not going to complete the treble we're going to go yarn over back down into that stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so we've got three loops on our hook we're going to do that four times in total so we have five loops on our hook so one more time five loops on our hook yarn over and pull through all five so this is the first half of the pom-pom and then we're going to chain three one two three yarn over and we're going to go down into that top of that pom-pom there so into that stitch there yarn over pull through and there's two on the hook and we're going to continue into that same stitch like before until we have five loops on our hook one more time five loops on our hook yarn over and pull through and then we're going to close the pom-pom by bringing it down over down and over and we're going to go back in the beginning of that first half of the pom-pom so insert your hook into there and just close it with a slip stitch and then chain three so one two and three now it's up to you how far you want your pom-poms apart here on the sleeve I uh, haven't put them too close together so in this example I have made my pom-pom and I have skipped three stitches and then inserted into the fourth stitch so I'm just going to skip three stitches again so one two three insert my hook into the fourth stitch pick up that the top both stitches there like the V stitch yarn over and slip stitch closed and there is our first pom-pom as you can see we're working from the back so there's the, the back of the pom-pom there and if you turn your work over from the front you get that lovely neat pom-pom so we'll do one more so we'll chain three one two three and then chain three more one two three yarn over we're going to go down into the third chain from our hook insert your hook yarn over yarn over pull through two two loops on your hook repeat that down back into that same stitch four times until we've got five loops on our hook so we're doing incomplete trebles and there we go yarn over and pull through all five then chain three one two three then we're going to go down into that stitch there and work four more incomplete trebles one two three And four and four yarn over and pull through close off that pom-pom by going back down into the beginning there yarn over and slip stitch it closed and then chain three one two three I'm going to skip three stitches one two three insert my hook into the fourth and slip stitch and there we have our second pom-pom so if you're not too familiar with the pom-pom stitch and you feel you'd like to see more in depth 
please check out my other videos where I have a full tutorial on this stitch but otherwise I shall continue all the way around and I shall see you somewhere round about here so I'm just coming now I've just done the last bobble on this round so I've done my chain three so I'm just going to skip three one two three and go down into that fourth stitch with slip stitch it's worked out quite good on this round I uh, just probably need to slip stitch across once to bring me back to the beginning and that's probably worked out quite well there for the gap so I'm just going to cut my yarn now obviously if you find that when you've come to do your last popcorn you may need to just slip stitch this close finish it off if you come to do your last popcorn and you've done your chain you may have a couple extra stitches there maybe so you just slip stitch across and join to there because you, you, you really can't notice it and as I say this is the back so you can just see the back part of the popcorn stitch and turn the sleeve over to the right side then you get the the prettier side showing so that's why I always work from the back but if you're happy with either way then you, it doesn't really matter so that's both of my sleeves done now so I've just got to finish off by sewing in my ends so there's one sleeve and here's the sleeve I've just completed well I hope you enjoyed that tutorial if you did please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit that little bell so you'll be notified of all the videos that I do bring out I hope I've inspired you to have a go at transforming your clothes you can add this pom-pom trim to anything really uh, jeans blouses trims on pillowcases the cuffs on jumpers anything at all and I just think it just gives it that extra special touch and don't forget it's going to be unique too so, so, so nobody else will have this top with this edging so please join me for my next videos don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts if you're going to have a go please share your pictures on Instagram using the hashtag loopy mabel pom pom trim and then we can see all each other's pictures and as I always say practice makes perfect and until the next time please take care and happy crochet mm -hmm.